Hello and welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. We are going to solve a system of congruences in modular arithmetic. Let's take x is congruent to 2 mod 5 and x is congruent to 3 mod 12. So to do this, first of all, we find a solution to two simpler equations. We find a solution to this equation. One and zero. And we also find a solution to the equation where we have a zero and a one instead. So the idea is we find the solution to this one and we find the solution to this one. And then we take and we multiply this solution by two and this solution by three, and we simply add the results. And then we'll get a solution to the whole system. Notice if we multiply two to one zero, think of it, think of it as a ordered pair or as a vector, say two times one zero and we add it to three times zero one, we end up getting two, three. So we actually get that the sol this solution map or the solution function that goes from ordered pairs in these mods to the actual solution itself is, um, is a module map or that it preserves structure, addition, and, and outside multiplication, which is really, really nice. So all we got to do is solve this system right here and that system. So let's go for it. How do we solve this first system? We need to find something that is 0 mod 12. Well, that would just be something that's a multiple of 12. So let's take 12 itself. 12. But it also needs to be 1 mod 5. 12 is not 1 mod 5. But let's multiply 12 by something. And if we did that, it's still a multiple of 12 and we're still satisfying the bottom equation. So let's just multiply this by something so that whatever we get is one mod five. Hey, that's the inverse of 12 mod in mod five arithmetic. So let's think of 12 as being like two in mod five arithmetic. And let's let a bar represent mod five. Two bar times what? Well, this should be fairly simple. Let's see, two times three, right? Two times three um, would give you one bar mod five. Ooh, so that means we just need to take 12 times three. 12 times three should give us something that's one mod five. You can try it out, it's 36. Yes, it does, and it's zero mod 12. So there's a solution. Our solution to the first part is 36. So we can write out two times 36 plus, and we gotta put something else here. It's gonna be three times, ah, the solution to this one. So let's work on that one. How do we find that? Well, it needs to be a multiple of five. So let's just start with five times something that would take it to one mod 12. So let's find the inverse of five in mod 12 arithmetic. So let's think using a bar and this time to denote mod 12. Five times what takes us closer to 12? Well, let's see, five times two, but no, you can't use two because two is a factor of 12. So what, and can't use three, can't use four. Hey, maybe five, hey, and actually that's it. Five times five is 25, which is one bar, one more than 24, which is a multiple of 20, um, multiple of 12. So therefore we get um, that the inverse of five mod 12 is simply five itself. So we can take five times five as a solution to this equation, 25. 25 is a multiple of five, it's zero mod five. It's also one mod 12. So therefore right here, we can just put 25, and then this right here will be the full solution to the system of congruences. If we let x equals this, 
it'll satisfy it will satisfy this system. Um, so we get 75. And over here, we get 72. And added together gives us 147. Now, we can reduce this to a simpler representative, perhaps, because really all of our solutions are going to are going to um, are going to be a skip pattern away from this if we just add this by a multiple of five times twelve, which is sixty. Now this whole process worked because five and twelve to begin with did not share any common factors. That's important for this method to be successful. 5 and 12 should not, at the beginning, share any common factors. And if we multiply 5 times 12, we get 60. So any, so if I add 60 to this, it's going to still be a solution. Subtract 60 from this, it'll still be a solution. Um, if we subtract 120, it's still a solution. That's a nice thing to subtract because then we get 27. So actually, x equals 27 works as a nice solution to this system of congruences. Um, and it's not and it's not that big. In fact, it's the only one between zero, um, between zero and 59 or, or one and 60 um, that would actually work. There's a unique solution um, every, every multiple of 60. Thanks for watching. You can always rewatch this by pushing replay.